All right, guys. So how is it going? Um, we got a very interesting uh, guy to break down here. I mean, this has been a this has been a quarterback that I've been viewing um, from since his sophomore year. He's he's from the Baton Rouge area, and it's also interesting that he's a Purdue commit right now to Jeff Brom and uh, that high octane offense that they had with David Bell. And Purdue's really a team on the rise with an easier schedule this year, so they could even uh, win the West. That isn't um, far-fetched at all. We're going to look at Ricky Collins because Ricky just also got a um, – Ricky, it, it, you know, is, is very highly regarded now at 24-7. Um, he, he hasn't always been, though. I mean, this is a guy that, that was, you know, middle of the pack, three-star guy last year. He plays in Baton Rouge, LSU. There's not a lot of buzz about the hometown uh, team. I'm sure he can use that as the chip on his shoulder. If uh, Brian Kelly and those guys don't want to recruit him, it could be like Trey Lance and uh, Minnesota. But, I mean, I look at at Collins, and it's interesting. I mean, sophomore year, um, he... He put up, I think, more explosive plays sophomore year than this year, but a lot, that could be due to a lot of factors. It can maybe be due to personnel that, uh, frankly, I mean, only Woodlawn people really uh, could know or guys who follow Louisiana high school football. Um, but, Ricky, let's analyze him, man. He's 6'3". He is a big, big guy, 6'3". He's built like, you know, Trey Lance, kind of a Jalen Hurts style quarterback. And there's a world in which this guy is a really elite college quarterback, an elite college quarterback, and even a top three round draft pick uh, quarterback. I mean, last year, his sophomore tape was so good, I had him towards the, the top end of the first round. So, I mean, he he could be, he's easily a, a round three guy, a round two guy that can, that can play, but he also is a little bit inconsistent, um, and his production is not near the, the, the top end guys, so gets you thinking a little bit. I mean, his release is a little bit on the longer side, but he's six foot three. Um, he's a really physical player, um, and and he doesn't he doesn't I mean he'll run away from people but he's not he's not like the downhill guy he's not really he he can definitely create but there's not a lot of highlights of him just like running people over but he can create out of nothing and easily get you 15 or 20 yards he's very athletic in that sense very athletic here's going to take on a full out blitz going to throw to the hot receiver and get a touchdown. All right, so there you see the release. You know, I know it's a little bit on the longer side, but as long as it's quick, uh, you know, Sam Darnold has that kind of release as well, so you can make it work. All right. So Ricky was throwing a lot of corner routes, and he had a lot of explosive plays in sophomore year. So you look at the full totality. You guys should even, if you have time, go back and watch sophomore year stuff. We're watching the most current stuff. This is a tremendous throw on the run, though. Rolling left, squares his body, really tight window, not a lot of separation, and makes a tremendous, tremendous throw here to, 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 the, uh, to the crosser for the score. All right, so Ricky, I think he has top-end arm strength. All right, now you don't see him uncorking a lot of 60-yard bombs, but the thing is with Ricky is that, you know, there he throws, you know, a good little route. The receiver guy slips, so he makes a play. I think Ricky does have top-end arm strength. You're going to see him fire it into some cover two holes. All right, he's very athletic, springy athlete, and he's a he could really play quarterback. Okay, that's a great compact delivery over the middle. Okay, good look at throw, good look at play, right over the middle of the field. Um, let's see right here. Oh yeah, I think we're going to see some escapability from Ricky. All right. Collins taking the snap doesn't have or, or no you see him absolutely launch into this ball so you see him I mean that's the thing maybe a little bit of overstride it's all right though pins it all right you talk about Deshaun Kaiser you talk about guys like you know Trey Lance I mean this 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 guy you talk about Jalen Hurts and the body type of Jalen Hurts and this guy has it because he can make plays on the run. I think he's dependable, hardworking kid. 
I'm re- this guy could be an upper echelon quarterback in the college game. It could be a top and, and could really be an NFL draft pick that's taken late first, second round. I mean, this quarterback is a is a definite four star quarterback. There is no doubt. I think he's a top ten guy in this class for sure. I think he can get to like a top top eight, top six by the end of the class because all right, you look at these throws and this layered throw into a tight window. You have to put velocity on this ball because it's a far out throw, a rail route, and it needs to be incredibly accurate. And and I know that I could say his release is a little longer there. The release is perfect. I mean, it can't be too long or it would be a sack fumble. And he pins this right to the sideline. I mean, this is a big-time, big-time throw. So Oregon just, you know, went after this guy. And for Oregon, he'd be tremendous because you can incorporate even quarterback run game as well. You're getting like... You're getting like a Jordan Travis type of guy that I believe can be even better than Jordan Travis, just has more arm strength than Travis. Really powerful lower half and can really drive that football in the tight coverage. Watch the wheel route. He, he has really good control on the football. I think this kid's been underrated a lot throughout the, throughout the coming years. All right, Ricky Collins, and he's and he's finally getting the praise that he kind of deserves. Uh, Elite Eleven saw his talent as well. I think he's going out there now and just throwing on the run, man. I mean, you could just create some Dillingham or Jeff Brom. I mean, I don't know if he's going to go out to Oregon, but Oregon's going to be pretty tough to pass up for him. We'll see how locked in he is to Purdue. Uh, but if he goes to Purdue, I mean, he could set the big the big uh, ten on fire, and he's going to a guy where you know he, he's going to really develop as a, as a, you know even more as a passer. And then the stuff you can do in the run game with Ricky is just awesome, and the type of RPMs that he could get, you know, throwing this type of throw. I think that this guy is an awesome quarterback. Uh, I mean, he's one of my favorites to watch, uh, game in and game out in this class all right so let's continue to watch though i mean six three and he has the ability i think we're going to see him too when he haps he absolutely can get out of trouble all right he he is absolutely not just a pocket passer he can absolutely you know get out of trouble there you see an athletic play against the blitz gets the ball out let's see if we see a play where he scrambles for like 20 yards yes here we go so he has real speed once nothing's there oh well he still looked and showed great poise under duress which i loved all right here we're gonna see him taking off i love that he looks to pass and then if he has the ability he can take off but guess what? If you're an OC, you got to utilize this kid's athletic ability because this kid is a good runner of the football. And he's smart. He doesn't take hits either. He doesn't want to take big shots. But he's a big physical quarterback, man. And uh, he's exactly the quarterback that I like. Big arm, physical, 6'3", checks so many boxes. Okay, springy, athletic. Okay, big in stature, so, you know, has a chance to withstand hits it, when they are going to come at the college level. All right, smart, going to protect the football. Um, so, 6'3", good size, right? Check, good size. Um, escapability component, not a statue in the pocket, big check. Uh, arm strength, check, can drive it into really tight windows, especially in the intermediate game. Okay, smart, dependable, and and is a physical physical in stature. So he checks so many boxes that you look for in a quarterback. I want to see him next year. See if he can you know start throwing some nines and some see him really start to work on the deep ball next year. All right, see him really throw that with touch the deep ball. I'd like to see that. Maybe he doesn't have the personnel, but you see here. I mean, there's a lot to uncover here with Ricky Collins. Okay, and he's gonna have that chip on his shoulder I don't know why LSU wouldn't go after him I mean come on he's absolutely worthy of being on that roster and he can, and I believe he can absolutely start um eventually on that roster uh you have Jaden Daniels I guess you have Brennan who's uh, who's at LSU 
I mean, this guy is going to be a big-time quarterback in college football. I doubt LSU is going to get quarterbacks that are going to be much more productive than Ricky. Ricky is an NFL draftable quarterback and is going to be a very productive quarterback if he stays healthy, which we all pray he does. And wherever he goes, I think he's going to be a stud. So I think LSU, it is interesting, to say the least. And I'd say it's it's kind of... Um, uh, maybe, maybe there's something we don't know uh, with, with LSU uh, or Collins, but, I mean, the fact that LSU is not going after him is a head-scratcher. He's right in their backyard at, out in Baton Rouge, but certainly going to be a very uh, fun and interesting prospect uh, and guy to look at here in Ricky Collins as we go forward in this 23 class.